Hi guys, it's Melissa with Ketoing Up with the Joneses, formerly known as Keto Cooking with the Joneses. We did change our name just because we are doing a little bit more informational videos along with our cooking. So today, I've got my daughter here and she's going to help us do our dinner. Hi, I'm Summer. I'm uh, 12 years old and I'm going to be showing you guys today that you, human friend. kids can make this is the white keto This is the test. I also think that it's really cool that my parents are helping or letting me help. So the skin is perfectly crispy and, and golden, and, really cool. and the white meat is doing keto. very juicy. Okay, so you remember how we did the coconut squash and shrimp the other day? Well, this is our leftover squash, so we're going to actually turn this into a um, grilled pizza. So you just take your squash and then you make a homemade tomato sauce with our seasonings and then we have these giant pepperonis that we are going to cut and put on those when they're done. So with my help of course I'm going to allow my daughter to show you that it is good and easy for even 12 and 13 year olds to cook. So stay tuned and she'll show you how wonderfully easy it is. So we already turned our pan on medium and my mom has already started cutting the tomato for me and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, well, first it was cut in half and so now I'm going to cut it in half again like that and then you don't really want to eat the middle part so you want to cut that off if I can. <laughs> See, like that. Come on. You're gonna get it all off. This one's already done. And so, oh, this one too. Perfect. See, she just took off the inside stem part. Because that part, it's edible, but you really don't Want need to eat that. to eat that. It's not enjoyable. Exactly. So, now you're going to cut it in, in half again. Oh, right, in half again. I'm trying to skip a part. There we go. Now you are going to cut it into little pieces about that size. Just like what we have in the pan. And it's okay if they get mushed because you're making a sauce. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna finish putting these tomatoes in our pot or our pan skillet. Sorry, <laughs> and we will be right back. Okay, so now that we've added all of our tomatoes into our pan or skillet or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sea salt. Not teaspoon, but a tablespoon. Whoa. Now I'm going to mix it around and I am adding this much salt because, well, first off, on the keto diet, you want a lot of salt. Like, a lot. Second off, it brings a lot of moisture into the food or, yeah. The salt helps pull out the moisture from the tomatoes, creating a sauce. See, if you yeah, see closely, you can see all of the moisture coming out, and you want to let that simmer so that it can turn into a sauce. And also, it's just really good with just salt on it. Like, sometimes I'll just go grab a tomato and cut it in half and put salt on it and eat it like that because it's so good. Okay, so explain what our other, our other seasonings we have over here are. Okay, so like I said, I just added some sea salt. And this... What is this one? Is black pepper. This is all a tablespoon of everything. 
This is a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay, and this one? This is a tablespoon of garlic powder. This is a tablespoon of onion powder. And these this ones are? This is a teaspoon of thyme leaves and a teaspoon of oregano. Okay, so our tomato sauce is doing pretty Ooh, good already. That looks so good. So go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients, the seasonings, and mix that up. Okay, so I have just added the black pepper, the garlic powder. I am now adding in the onion powder. This is a lot of powder. Now my thyme leaves. Wanting to say fine. And my oregano. Now I am going to mix it around. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna get that mixed up and let that simmer for a little bit. Okay, so we have our squash ready. Squash has big seeds, as you can see. They're, I mean, they're kind of big. So I just say the ones that are right on top, you can peel out or pick out and um, throw them away. They're not going to hurt you if you eat them, but we like the, the squash a little bit less seedy. So we're going to take it and we're going to go big side down for the most part. And then you just take a stick of butter. This is Kerrygold grass fed. And you're going to rub it over top one side. That's the side that you're going to put on the grill first. And putting butter on it is adding the extra fat that you need for your diet or this way of eating. And it's going to help the grill marks pop in. So you are only doing this on one side for now. We'll come back and we'll add more to it later. Once you get all of them done. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a good coat of butter on them is fine. We're going to take this outside and we're going to get these on the grill and um, get them grilling on just the one side. And then when that's done, we bring them inside and we put our sauce on and our pepperoni and then take them back outside and do a little bit more grilling. Okay, so we got our grill hot. It's a hot day, so the grill gets hot really fast. But you want it to be around 400, 450, and then keep an eye on it because this is squash. So you're going to take this butter side down on a hot grill. You want good grill marks on that. You could also do this with zucchini. This is really, really good with zucchini also. Once you get all of your your squash or even your zucchini like I said on you're gonna let that cook up for a couple minutes and you're gonna check it and make sure that it's getting good grill marks so if you see if you can see you can already see like right here where the the grill is going in those are gonna get it some really good grill marks so we're going to close this and let this cook for a couple minutes. And then when we get ready to, to take those off, we'll show you how they look. Okay, so these have been on for about a minute. So what you want to do is you want to see good grill marks. So we're going to give it a little bit longer just because I like my grill marks really dark. And when we take these off, you flip those over, and that's the spot that you put your sauce and your cheese and your pepperoni on. And then you bring that whole thing out and you put it so that this side that's up is the side that's down. And that gives it a nice, good texture, soft texture on the inside. So we're gonna give that a couple more minutes, make sure those grill marks get nice and dark, and then we'll take them off and take them inside, and I will have my daughter show you how to load them up. It's me again, and so I'm going to uh, flip these and put them on the cutting board to bring them.
come back inside. Oh yeah, look at those grill marks. That's perfect. Here, I'll hold that for you. Thanks. Mm, yeah, look at those grill marks on all of those. Those are like perfect. You can stack them. Dang it. It's okay. Slippery. At least that got on the cutting board and not on the That one's the hard one. This is the hard one. Just pick it up however you can, baby. Okay, so we only had one casualty with the squash, but he's alright. We don't need him anymore. So um, I am going to cut these pepperonis into fours. If you have the smaller pepperonis and you don't really want to cut them, you don't have to, but we have the really big ones, so we're going to be cutting them. If they'll cut. There we go. The pepperonis, you're going to have to go really hard. Okay, now these are cut in fours. We'll set those aside for a second. And I'm going to take these. And, well, and as you can see, we added way more tomatoes to our sauce just because we do like to put some of this away and save it for next time. And you guys can always adjust your tomatoes and your seasonings to your preferred taste so that it's good for you guys. Sometimes the amount of pepper we added was too much for people or you guys don't like thyme. You do it how you want. Just remember, tomatoes are high in sugar, so you don't want to consume a lot at a time. Yep. So now I'm going to take the special that we've been using to mix it around. And I am going to take a little bit of this and... Put it on to spread that out real good. My good job. squash. It's going all over the place, but we'll clean that up later. That's okay. Food can be messy. It's messy all the time. Okay, so now that I'm going to put a little bit more on there. Because it's not a lot. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So now I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese on top of it, so it's like an actual pizza. There's some chunks. Uh -huh. Looks like a pizza already. Okay, so now, because we have a lot of squash, I'm going to take two of these and set it on top. And there's a pizza. A keto pizza. So we're going to finish assembling the rest of these and then we'll take them outside and show you how to put them on the grill. Okay, so we're going to actually use a spatula to put these on the grill. The grill has still been on the entire time. Staying hot. So we're going to put these right on like this. Being careful not to lose any of our delicious toppings. Now time to get the rest. Three more. This one's the difficult one. That's the little baby that doesn't like to be cooked. Okay, so we're gonna let those finish cooking. You wanna make sure your squash is cooked all the way through and that your cheese and pepperoni all kind of melts together like a regular pizza. So with this grill on low, we're going to close the lid, go inside and clean up, wait for these to cook, and we'll be back to show you the finished product. Hey guys, so it's now time to take these off, and I'm going to try not to drop any because we got a little mishap earlier. We can't afford that. Mm. 
They look so good. How excited are you to try these, sis? I am super excited. They look so good. They smell amazing. Mm -hmm. That homemade tomato sauce smells so good. Couple more. And... Yep, you can do it. Get it on there. Push them all forward. There Ooh. we go. Okay, so now we're gonna take these inside. Let's see if I can get them some good light. Whoop. We're gonna take these inside and slice one and give them the ultimate taste test. Okay, so the baby wanted to do a taste test too. So he's gonna let you know what he thinks. Okay, get your piece. It might be hot, baby. Is that nummy? Look at mommy. Look at mommy. What do you think of that? You like it? Yeah, does it taste like pizza? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, Summer, your turn. Okay. You made it, let's see what you think. Woo! Well, it's falling apart, which means that's good. Yeah. I know. You did it. Is that good? Nice and soft? Oh, yeah. Tastes like pizza? Well, there you have it. A 12-year-old who made it and approves and a 2-year-old who is loving yellow squash pizza. Are you going to have more? There you have it, guys. You try this and let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, share, comment, and enjoy. Thanks for watching.